What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new Crown Tundra DLC VGC video and this is a video I've been very excited to bring to you guys for the past day or two I've been working on this team but it's been a while since I made like a team breakdown in this format and it does take me a long time to make the mons as well as make these team slides so any amount of support on this video is appreciated if you would leave a like I'd appreciate that very much and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications all that is amazing for helping me grow but this team is based around Galarian Zapdos and Tapu Lele as well as a as well as a little guest appearance by an old friend of the channel <laughs> You'll see who that is in a second. It's a very strange Pokemon, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first Pokemon that I want to bring attention to on this team is Tapu Lele. This Lele is going to be running a Choice Scarf with Psychic Surge, Psychic, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball. It has a modest nature and it's running max special attack, four special defense, and max speed. The reason we're running this uh, Choice Scarf Tapu Lele is because it pairs well with well, friend of the channel, Thievul. <laughs> it's a Pokemon that I've been using for a long time, and if you don't understand why uh, Thievul is a phenomenal partner for Tapu Lele, I'll get into that in just a second. I've had great success with Thievul. Stick with me here. I used it to, uh, to qualify for Players' Cup as well as Top Cut many, many events in the previous format. So, uh, Tapu Lele is actually a phenomenal Pokemon uh, in this format because it sets up Psychic Terrain, uh, which boosts its Psychic moves by 30% this generation. Psychic is a very spammable move. Unfortunately, it didn't get uh, Expanding Force, which would have absolutely broken this Pokemon. It would have made it so strong. Uh, but I guess Psychic is good enough. Moonblast is an excellent stab move for hitting Dragon types, Dark types, and hitting Incinera for neutral damage, which is also great. Uh, however, it does have lower damage output than Psychic if you are in terrain. Dazzling Gleam is a nice spread option for hitting things uh, with a stab move. And Shadow Ball with the Choice Scarf is actually very important because it allows us to hit Metagross and get it for super effective damage, which is really, really important in this metagame. Metagross is a very threatening Pokemon, and while we won't one-shot it or even two-shot it, if we get some chip damage off on it, we have a good chance to knock it out. So yeah, Tapu Lele is actually a great Pokemon on this team, uh, and it does support the hyper offensive mode that this team uh, tends to encourage. Next up, we have Galarian Zapdos, and it doesn't synergize well with Tapu Lele, however, it does synergize quite well with a couple of other Pokemon on the team. We're running a safety goggle set with Defiant, Thunderous Kick, Brave Bird, Detect, and Taunt. You could, if you want to use this team on Showdown, swap out Thunderous Kick for Close Combat. They work just as well, however, I like Thunderous Kick uh, because it doesn't lower my defensive stats and allows me to sort of steamroll through a more Wally Pokemon like Celesteela. Brave Bird is an excellent stab move. Detect is used over Protect because it actually, while it has less uh, PP overall, it makes it so if someone is running an Imprisoned Pokemon, which is more common in this format than it has been in previous formats, uh, it'll make it so they can't Imprison Protect off of me and I'm still able to defend this Pokemon. Finally we're running Taunt and the reason we're running Taunt is because it helps me stop Trick Room which is a weakness of this team. It has a difficult time against Trick Room uh, because it's very hyper offensive. It doesn't do well when you have to play defensively for a couple of turns. It takes a little bit more effort on that front and also with the safety goggles it allows us to taunt things like Amoongus. It allows us to taunt things like uh, Trick Room setters if they're supported by Amoongus by just completely ignoring the Spore or the Rage Powder and it also allows us to just taunt things that will generally give us a of rough time on the team. The EV spread is 4 HP, 252 attack, 252 speed with a jolly nature. The 100 speed is a little bit disappointing on this Pokemon in my opinion. If it were 110, it would actually synergize so much better with another member on the team, uh, Kartana, because it would be able to thunderous kick and then combo into a strong physical attack. But it still does well enough with thunderous kick lowering the defenses for other Pokemon on the team like Landorus. Next up we have Thievul a mascot of the channel to be honest. A phenomenal Pokemon if you know how to use it right. This guy's gonna be running Psychic Seed with Unburden, 244 HP, 12 Special Defense, and 252 Speed. That EV spread gives you the most special bulk uh, as you could possibly ask for with still a decent amount of physical bulk because you're maxing out the HP. Psychic Seed will boost that Special Defense stat when it goes off in Psychic Train next to Tapu Lele and because of losing the Psychic Seed, you'll actually get double speed from Unburden, allowing you to do some pretty nasty combinations. If you're able to to get that set up on lead, which this is a phenomenal lead for the team, you'll be able to go for fake tears onto a Pokemon to lower its special defense stat, and then immediately hit it with that Choice Scarf Psychic from Tapu Lele, KOing it pretty much instantly, and it does so much damage. It's really great. Foul Play is great for hitting things like Weakness Policy Metagross, uh, doing 
like too much damage to be honest like it's enough damage where they should not be comfortable with it uh if they're dynamax they'll live it however if they're not dynamax they just instantly go down snarl is a great support option for beating special attackers uh you actually naturally outspeed reggie Alecki after the unburden uh, which will allow you to snarl it it will allow you to snarl uh fast pokemon under tailwind some people will run tailwind plus gigantamax lapras right now which is great uh you'll, you'll be able to snarl that thing and just wall it for days uh snarl is also great for beating tapu coco since a lot of them are running special attacking sets right now uh, you'll beat opposing tapu lele you can beat special dragapult if they're not running clear body there are a lot of different things you can do with that move and it's so so great it also supports the kartana in the back uh, howl is another really cool tech move if you don't know this generation it got buffed so if you howl next to your partner pokemon it will boost both of these pokemon's attack stats it'll boost the thievil's attack stat which is irrelevant however it will boost the partner Pokemon's attack stat, which if you go for max airstream with Gigan or with Dynamax Galarian Zapdos after a howl, it gets plus one attack and plus one speed in a single turn. And if you decide to howl next to a Dynamax Kartana and go for a max airstream at plus one, you essentially get uh, an attack boost from the beast boost, an attack boost from the howl, and a speed boost from the max airstream, which is such a nasty combination to deal with. It makes this very, very important to the team's success. And finally, I've already went over fake tears. Fake tears is just great for comboing into Lele or even the Dragapult, which we're going to get into here. I am running a special Dragapult pretty much just because it helps beat uh, Metagross a lot easier than physical Dragapult. It hits in on the special defensive side with Stab, Shadow Ball, or Max Phantasm. We're running a Life Orb on this guy. He's running 4 HP, 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed with a Timid Nature. Its moveset is Shadow Ball, Protect, Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, and the Flamethrower is actually a really nice tech option for hitting things like uh, Kartana or Ferrothorn. Kartana is very threatening in this format, so hitting with that Flamethrower is really, really good. Uh, if you also go for Max Flare after a Fake Tears from Thievil into a Celesteela, it will one-shot it most of the time, which is really nice. This Pokemon is super important to the su success of the team, and it is a very strong hyper-offensive option on lead since he can't be intimidated. Next up we have Kartana, and for those of you unfamiliar with previous formats where Kartana was legal, you might be surprised to see that we don't typically run attack investment on the Assault Vest spread, and that's because Kartana has a high enough attack stat where it still gets the beast boost without it, and it does have more attack than most physical attackers with no investment whatsoever. So we're able to run this Assault Vest spread with 188 speed and a jolly nature which will allow us to outspeed base 100s like Charizard, which is super important. Uh, you don't want to get outsped by common fire types. Uh, We'll be able to run 68 HP in max special defense. This assault vest spread will generally allow you to live pretty much any tech flamethrower. If someone techs onto a flamethrower onto like a Gyarados or something, which was a previous staple of VGC 17. However, in 2020, we might not see that as often. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to live pretty much coverage flamethrowers. Uh, and when you're Dynamaxed, your special defense is much more viable. You'll be able to take things like Spec Psychic from Tapu Lele uh, when you're Dynamaxed. You'll be able to just live special hits, which is super important. And this is a very very strong Dynamax option for the team. Uh, Assault Vest Kartana is very bulky on the physical and decent bulk, decently bulky on the special defensive side. Uh, you'll be able to go for max airstreams with Aerial Ace, and if you pick up a KO with max airstream, Kartana gets to speed boost as well as attack boost and just steamroll through the rest of the competition. Leaf Blade is a very strong option as well. You could set up grassy terrain and KO things with uh, max overgrowth at that point. Sacred Sword is great for hitting opposing steel types as well as uh, things like Stack Attacka uh, for super effective damage, and also it KOs in center at plus one. And as long as you don't get intimidated, it's going to be really useful there. Uh, Sacred Sword also turns into Max Knuckle to boost your attack, which allows you to get plus two attack in a single turn if you pick up a KO with that. And Smart Strike is an excellent stab option for picking off fairy types like opposing Tapu Leles or uh, opposing Tapu Bulus. Whatever fairies are common in the metagame right now, they do not want to take a Smart Strike and they do not want to take a Max Steel Spike. Both of those are very strong options. And our final Pokemon of the team is Landorus Therian. He's going to be running a Lumberry, Earthquake, Protect, U-Turn, Fly, his abilities intimidate, and we're running max speed, max attack, and 4 HP with a Jolly Nature. He's generally a good lead Pokemon as long as they don't have a competitive or uh, defiant Pokemon in the lead. It helps boost the bulk of things like Thievil, Galarian Zapdos, Kartana, Dragapult. Everything's able to live a hit a lot easier when you're cycling in Intimidates with U-Turn. On top of that, we're running Fly for max airstream if we decide to Dynamax this thing, because it does partner extremely well with Thievil, being able to boost its attack and speed with max airstream in a single turn if we go for a Howl. So yeah, that's the team guys let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below i do actually have more battles coming up with this team in the future there is a battle there there's a video where i'm actually using it on the casual battle ladder because the you know actual ranked ladder hasn't updated to allow these pokemon yet and that video is uh 
it's already on the channel. It's uh, the previous video I uploaded yesterday. So if you guys want to check out the team in action, that's a good example for it. If you guys want to see a bonus video with this team in action, you can support me on Patreon, where I did a best of three with one of my Discord, uh, with one of my Discord members. Uh, and while he did absolutely wipe the floor with me, it was still a very fun battle to uh, use the team in. So yeah. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, join the Discord, do anything you can. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!